Okay, this is test number one. This is the Berlin Philharmonic, and this is their opening screen, which already shows uh, it. I believe that's in German or it's in Dutch. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page to see if I'm able to change its language to English. Uh, it's a bit surprising that it didn't allow me to do that straight away because it would be able to uh, see where I am located or could have asked for a preference as it is in different languages. So I'm going to go under the, uh, the menu bar, call out for English. So now that's nice. So we're all back in English. Uh, the search is directly up at the top and I'll get to that in a little. So I'm just going to scroll down and just say what I see. So we start off with an anniversary concert. There's uh, a birthday celebration. We have concerts and tickets. Different search bar here for a concert search. Um, and then they have various concerts which uh, scroll to the side in a carousel. Uh, we have some other articles about uh, presumably some composers or some events which are coming up. Uh, something there to do with a, a conductor. Then they're advertising their uh, a feature with their digital concert hall. Uh, this is their regular website. I couldn't find a web app for them or, or an app in the app store for them. So that's a little bit odd that they have uh, a digital concert hall but they're not advertising the fact that you can download the app from from any of the uh, app stores. We got news which is uh, scrolling to the side with no images just keeping that very plain and simple. Uh, what is interesting to me is that the top menu disappears when we get down to the news section. I'm not sure why that would be. Um, and then we get to the main uh, menus at the bottom here with uh, some quite nice graphics sitting at the bottom there. So the uh, the main goal for, for me is to be able to find some events to look at and then see if I can book a ticket. So um, I'm not seeing the events, but it's got concerts and tickets. So we go into here. Uh, they do have festivals. Uh, they do have some uh, on tour and they have some broadcast. So the nearest thing that I can see is going to be festivals. So we'll go take a look to see what that is about. Um, fairly clear. Uh, they got obviously starts with the festivals and then the various events which they have. They've got to learn more, read more, and read more. Um, and again, they, the top menu does disappear. Um, not quite sure why they perhaps have done that. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this festival. Let's read more about this festival. Uh, it goes into some uh, more details. It tells me when the festival is and different parts of this but if the main point of the site is to get revenue then not making it so easy for me to find a ticket for any of these events also they've repeated every single image is exactly the same so there's no nothing uh, that's going to make me see a difference um, they could have put in the uh, the violinist they could have put in the conductor an image of those people image of an event or a past event, something which would be different to what's currently in front of me. Um, so let's, let's go into the details here. Let's click on one of the festivals and read more, see what that does. Seems to repeat. We're now getting into some more details. We've got dates and tickets as well. Um, so let's click on dates and tickets. And that doesn't actually do anything. It does give me a phone number um, and it also lets me visit the website. I'll come back to that because I did notice in their top bar they did have uh, ticket information. So let's take a look at that. Uh, ticket information, advance bookings and dates, opening hours, seating plans, reductions. Not quite sure what reductions would be. Um, Seem to have a lot of information here, but I'm not able to easily find a ticket to an event. Which, um, 
it says how to buy the tickets. So this is kind of frustrating uh, that I'm here and I want to go buy something. And they tell me about their surcharges. Um, about three euros per ticket. Go to the concert calendar. Um, discounts. Uh, oh, I'm actually confused. They've got a nice looking website, but you can't get to the tickets. So let's take a look at concert calendar. Well, now they're taking me away from where I actually was interested. I was interested in going to that festival. Now I've actually lost where that festival is. So it's keep going so far. This uh, read more. It's as if they don't want me to actually book a ticket because I can't find what I was actually looking for. But it, it tells me about the remaining tickets. So, okay, let's hit, click on this. See if we get into uh, the ticketing section. Uh, okay, accept all. This is their privacy settings, which is okay. So I'm going to accept that. Uh, okay, so now we get into... Okay, again, confused because this doesn't make it, t it does tell me but I'm really having to dig in and that type has got extremely small um, research said that the people that are likely to be booking a ticket would be about my age with older eyes so let's look at what they got in seating groups so okay this is bouncing around the seating groups so we've got different areas uh, they're not letting me at the moment so let's take a look at this uh, they've numbered one through to presumably eight or nine and I don't really get that because it's not showing me oh okay I think this is in a different language even though I asked for English perhaps it's got perhaps it's three tickets I don't know so that's confusing, so perhaps if you get one, I don't know what that word is after the number one, is that ticket or is that seating or what, I'm not sure. So so this map, you can scroll in, is it, I think it's only showing me, okay, so Okay, I think that was true from from this. If I want to do three, is it going to let me now do three? No. Okay. Um, seating groups, two seating groups. I'm not sure about that. Anyhow, I can select that. Okay. Okay. So now it's letting me but I had to hit the price button for it to go into the cart, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me currently. But they do have the seating. You had to zoom in a lot to be able to, to see where you're gonna, could be sat. They did have a plus and a minus in here, but the scroll on mobile was fairly intuitive. It's just uh, take a look. So regular web price it's got a pull down menu to nothing which I don't see why um, and it looks like I have some tickets and then it's asking me to add it to the shopping cart so uh, it's got English here I wonder if that now translates what we were looking at previously Got tickets for young people, which I don't remember seeing in the other. No? Okay. Translation's a bit off. So let's just take a look at our seating groups. Yeah, even though that I'm in English, this isn't in English, uh, I don't think. So that itself was kind of poor and just going to see what it says about tickets for young people. What does that mean? Right. Oh, okay. It just gives me some some more information about that. There's uh, some sort of app. 
Okay, so just to wrap this up, overall experience of being able to book a ticket was very frustrating and I don't think I would have gone through with this. I probably, if I was really wanting to go to the concert, find another way of doing it because that hurt my head. That wasn't very clear or intuitive at all. I mean, what am I doing? Am I actually I'm adding here? I'm adding there. I can add another ticket there. Uh, need to scroll down, add to the shopping cart. Let's just take a look at that. Okay. It gives like a receipt. I can add it to a mobile or, the, or it can be shipped. Um, I'm just going to hit continue. Not that we're going to buy it and we'll be stopping this very soon. Uh, terms and conditions. So they put a lot of barriers in between me and the ticket, which isn't good. So we're going to wrap this up here uh, and move on to the next test.